So this is the second way that you could solve a rate law problem. Um, this is what you would do if your slow step was not your first step. So the slow step is our rate determining step. So normally we would, well first we can write the overall reaction. So these would cancel, these would cancel, and we would be left with 2NO plus 2H2 gives you 2H2O plus N2. So normally we would write our rate as just based on the slow step. And I'm going to call this K2 because it's the K from the second step. So this would be N2O2 times H2. But the issue with this is that we have an intermediate in what's supposed to be our overall rate law. This can't happen because this interme intermediate does not exist in our overall mechanism. So we need to use our fast and equilibrium step to do some algebra and try and get the N2O2 to um, not be in our overall rate law. So to do that, um, we can say that, so being in equilibrium means that the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. So the rate of this going forward equals the rate of this coming back. So rate of one is equal to the rate of one in reverse. And then that, if we write the rates for that, so rate of one would be K1, NO squared, and that comes from up here, the NO squared, and then the rate of inverse would be based on this, so K negative 1 times N2O2. So this equation is going to help us when we want to get rid of this, because this N2O2, if we can isolate this we can plug in the rest of this stuff into here and be left with the reactants in our overall mechanism. And that's important because we can only use those reactants in our overall rate law. So rearranging this um, to get N2O2 by itself, we get So this we can plug in right here and fix the rate law. So this K2 stays, and then when we plug in all of this for N2O2, we have to put these in too. So K1 over K negative 1, and then multiplied by NO squared, and then we have to keep the H2. So some professors will be okay with you keeping it like this, and some of them will say it's okay to just combine all those rate constants into one. So that's how you solve a rate law where the slow step is not your first step.